All right, we're back, guys. I'm gonna start things off with uh, giving Reno the old tour of Balam. Um, I think it's gonna be that, and I think we're gonna head straight into the Norg fight, if I'm not mistaken. Down below. So just nice and easy, we will walk around. The cafeteria. Well, what about over there? Well, I really appreciate you showing me around. But can you try to make it a little more fun? You know, like a normal tour? Whatever. stuff here we go student ID number four one two six nine nice ball yes the garden master wishes to see you report to the master's room right away where the hell is the master's room take the take the elevator to the b1 to, to level b1 <laughs> you have permission level b1 All right, things are going to get wild and wacky. going on what I just felt like coming down here I'm not following you or anything look at me I'm not finished so headmaster Sid's getting manhandled down here greedy son of a bitch why don't I even bother talking to you these were brought up for the future and that future is now why can't you understand Damn it. I should have never trusted you. I wish I could go back 10 or so years. Tell myself that you're nothing but a mummy, money grubbing son of a bitch. Then I would have never built this place. What's up, Sid? You heard everything? Yes. I'm embarrassed, but sometimes even old men like me lose their temper. Let's get out of here. Sir, I still have to give you my report. Please come to my office later. You're the seeds who returned from Galbadia, correct? Yes. It's about time. Master Norg has been waiting for you. Come. Master Norg. Whenever Master Norg calls you, be sure to be there within three seconds. <laughs> And all that mumbo jumbo. Big old job of the hut looking bastard. This is the garden master? The proprietor of garden? He's not human. Come to think of it, we didn't know anything about him. What a shock. Oh, check him out. He's kind of like disappearing. <laughs> I was having some weird random texture glitches there. You can see like his clothes kind of disappearing there. Anyways, answer him quickly. Be concise.
We fail we failed to assassinate Sorcerer Edia. Confirmation of Headmaster Sid's order was made at Galbadia Garden. After Irvin Kinney's of Galbadia Garden joined our party, we set off to carry a out the assassination order from Balam and Galbadia's orders. You were fooled. Fooled? I don't understand. Explain to them. Master Norik has known about the alliance between the President and the Sorceress. He heard it from the Galbadia Guardmaster himself. Guardmaster? Garden Master Martine? Yes, in fact, the Sorceress and, guard and Garden are closely connected. That is why the Sorceress will definitely try to gain hold of all gardens. The Master Norik sent an official order to Galbadia Garden. It was to kill the sorceress, and assassination was thought to be the best means. But. That sly weasel Martine used you as a last resort for the assassination. He gave that order to place the blame on me. That bastard. Are you saying that Bellum Garden had nothing to do with that order? You just happened to show up just before the mission was to be carried out. They used you. But the operation failed. The Sorceress is still alive and... The Sorceress retaliated just, to we, just as we suspected. No doubt it was the Sorceress who ordered the missile attacks. Something must be done to calm the Sorceress's anger. Wait a minute, let's just... Offer the seed's head on a silver platter and pretend we obey the sorceress. What? Why aren't we fighting the sorceress? What about all the training we endure every day? What good is it? What did you say? You were what I said. You lost to the sorceress. Quit your whining. Master Sid was saying the same thing. Hey. Sid. That idiot Sid dispatched Seed to kill the sorceress. And if you fail, this garden will be done for. My garden. It will all be over. That idiot. Has he forgotten that it was I who put up the money to establish garden? I wanted to offer the sorceress... Sid's head along with the seeds. I ordered the students to find Sid, but they sided with him. This is my garden. Nope. It's not just yours. But what is it? Is it Sid and Edia's? Pathetic married couples? Dun dun dun. I don't get it. We'll get it in due time, right? It'll all come back to us. Now I understand. Sid and Edie are trying to take Gar Garden away from me. Bring it on. I don't think Irvin has anything junction to him. So, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, maybe he does. All the details about this battle. I know that you have to keep um there's like three colors like yeah like yellow or blue, yellow, and red. I think you gotta keep them out like yellow and blue for them to stop pummeling you with like magic or something like that. 
I think the right one will consistently cast Dispel on you. So I think that's like the main one you want to try and attack and keep the color back at like blue or yellow. I just remember um, using Carbuncle is a good tactic. Keep yourself protected from the other spells used from the other orbs. Something like that. I don't know. I may be wrong. <laughs> Talking about the strategy, and I'm not even following it. Did I accidentally double cast this? Whoops. I thought I just attacked with him, but I guess not. I cannot see the target at all. <laughs> there we go. I doubt Diablos will do much damage. We'll see, though. That just sounds cool. physical attack even do anything to the pod? Eh. 
Could be better. Well, that was a pretty good hit. We'll get speed booster now for this. talking and he's gonna pop off here but we should be able to get a certain Leviathan <laughs> give me Leviathan thank you very much yeah buddy that's all I needed. All right, let's tear this bitch up, finish him off. It'd be super easy now. Flex still? Yeah. Psycho Blast. He's just gonna hit the one target, really. <laughs> what a fucking waste, man. I 
push him off. Come on. Come on. We got to be almost there. Maybe. Wrong button. Wrong button. Turn speed boost off gonna play like that. Oh, for fuck's sakes. He's being a dick. I'm gonna be a dick too. <laughs> My god, I need to... I really need to organize this for battle. Deuces. I just really wanted Leviathan, that's all. Yeah, baby, look at that. There we go. Gonna do some AP grinding and get all of his abilities. So, like, what's going on, guys? Forget about it for now. I can't believe you said that. I think what just happened was really serious. What's the point of talking about it now? You don't know what's going on either. This is crazy. I don't know what's going on anymore. I feel like a helpless puppet being manipulated in some major scheme. Squall. Yeah, I'm going to see the headmaster. And what I do know is that there is a hidden draw point. Right, yep, right there. There you go. You enjoy that. Oh yeah, who gets the new... Who gets the new gif? I think it should be Squall. He's kinda, he kind of has some lame ones right now. <laughs> I didn't focus too much on him. Do this real fast because it's easier. I'll probably do a little bit of AP grinding in between the next session. That way we're all all set and ready. Before we crash into Fisherman's Horizon, that is, right? Actually, I think we go over here.
increase. Yes. Now. Right now. Right now. Well, the headmaster is kind of... I'm okay down, doctor. Are you sure? Yes. I believe I'm done crying. Just take it easy, okay? He's got a lot on his mind. Poor guy. Hey, Sid. You all see me in such an embarrassing state. What shall we talk about? Nothing. Just what to do next. What do we do now? We must stop drifting around soon. I only hope that we can get things back to the way they were. Want to make a report? No, no, it's not necessary. I can guess. I can guess what must have happened. Seed is Seed, the elite mercenary force of Balam Garden. Hmm, do you know something about Seed? I never know anything. Seed will defeat the sorceress. The Garden will train Seed members. The many missions around the world are only training for the final battle against the sorceress. But now that the sorceress has become a major threat, a true mission has begun. Tell me about Sorceress Edie. I heard she's your wife. You're quite right. Been a sorceress since childhood. I married her knowing that. During childhood? Ugh. We were happy. We worked together. The two of us, we were very happy. One day, Edia began talking about building the garden and training Seed. I became obsessed with the plan, but I was very concerned with Seed's goal. That one day, Seed might fight Edia. She laughed and told me that would never happen. However, just dip out midway. He is from the Shumi tribe, a black sheep of the tribe, one might say. We met while I was running around trying to find funds to build the garden. He became interested in building the garden and we hit it off. Thanks to his funding, it was completed. However, we needed an enormous amount of funds to run the garden, so we began dispatching seeds all around the world as a means of supporting the garden. Norg's idea was right on the money. An enormous amount of capital began flowing into the garden, and the garden began to change. Well, a sight of our high ideals, the truth was covered up. That's probably enough. In the end, it was my fault for giving up control. Uh, yeah, I think we're good now. Later, Sid. Have you seen the headmaster around? He's at the infirmary. Sounds like trouble. What's wrong? Go to the second floor deck and see for yourself. There's a ship approaching. It could be Galbidians or worse. The sorceress might be aboard. Coming to attack us. I gotta tell the headmaster right away. Speed it up. Ship. A Galbadian ship? Not even close. Is Headmaster Sid here? No, he's not. Are you from Galbadia? We are Seeds. This is Edia's ship. We are Sorceress Edia's Seed. We're coming aboard. We're unarmed. 
Yeah, just come on in, guys. Please, we come in peace. We must speak to Headmaster. Where is he? I'm right here. Headmaster, we've come for her alone. It's too dangerous here now. Yes, I'm afraid so. Yeah, they're talking about Sis, right? A girl from Windhill. Well, you know who she is? Please go find her. She's here somewhere in the garden. Who are these guys? How are they connected? Squall? Yes, sir. Hey, I know where she's at. Alone? Say, wasn't she... Yeah, she was that girl who was with Laguna. Probably. Any idea where she is? She's at the library. Yes. You just got that feeling, right? Just got a hunch. She's a person in the dream world. Alright, let's do it. I had to double check there. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yes, Squall? Are you alone? Yes. The alone? You know Laguna, don't you? I do. I really love Uncle Laguna. And tell me, what is it that we experience? I'm sorry, Squall. It's hard to explain. But one thing, it's about the past. People say you can't change the past, but even still, if there's a possibility, it's worth a try, right? Change the past. Is she serious? Give me a break. Are you the one responsible? Are you the one taking us to that dream world? I'm sorry. Why me? I have enough problems as it is. Don't get me involved in this. I'm sorry. Don't... Don't count on me. As he moonwalks backwards to the chair. <laughs> well, did you find her? Are you going to be alright? No. I'm devastated, man. What Alone said under her breath was... You're my only hope. Why do people depend on each other? In the end, you're on your own. I made it this far by myself. Sure, I couldn't do a th damn thing when I was a kid. I'm dependent on others, but... I'll be the first one to admit that I'm here because of other people. I'm fine by myself now. I have all the skills I need to survive. I'm not a child anymore. That's a lie. I don't know anything. I'm confused. I don't want to depend on anyone. How can I do that? Someone tell me. Someone, so I'll end up depending on others after all. 
Emos wall. But I'm doing my best. I'll be okay without you, sis. I'll be able to take care of myself. Another walk. Stupid. This is stupid, but we'll play along. Thank you, Your Highness.